Hello book people, PT here with a quick book review today. Today I'm going to be talking about The Second Life of Nick Mason by Steve Hamilton. Uh, this book I discovered actually through Twitter. Um, the author, um, Don Winslow of The Cartel and Power of the Dog and Savages, a lot of books I really like, was just raving about this book on Twitter and that made me really curious about it and so I checked it out and man it just had so many blurbs from so many uh, amazing crime authors saying how this was like a game-changing crime novel and I read it and I really agreed this was my favorite uh, crime novel I've read so far this year. Uh, basically the premise is a pretty simple one. It's uh, this guy, Nick Mason, the, the titular Nick Mason, is uh, in prison. He's been in prison for like five years, and uh, he's in prison because of a uh, robbery he was involved with that kind of went wrong and ended up, um, some people ended up dying, and so he's serving, I think, a 25-year life or 25-year sentence, and it's, it's been five years so far, and he gets the opportunity to be released early, kind of like my book, Regulation 19, but anyway, he gets the the uh, op op opportunity to be released early, but he has to agree to some terms. Um, basically, this crime lord is going to help him get out of jail early uh, if he agrees to kind of, um, instead of serving his 20 years in jail, he has to agree to work for this crime lord for 20 years. And um, of course, the first Nick Mason is very skeptical. How could this guy possibly get him out of jail? Um, but he eventually agrees and he does get out of jail. And uh, then he starts working for this guy. And the story is basically about Nick Mason as he's um, as he's kind of going about this new life. He's set up in this really fancy apartment. He's uh, but he's also being called upon. He has this phone, and he the only rule is basically he has to answer the phone whenever it rings. Um, he can never let it go to voicemail. And the person on the other end is going to give him instructions as to what his next job is. So as after he's out and he's. Uh, he starts getting these calls and he starts realizing what he's agreed to and the, the sticky situations he's getting himself into. And there's also a very dedicated police officer who's kind of investigating things. Uh, so that's kind of the basics of the story. What makes it so cool really is Steve Hamilton's writing and Nick Mason as a character is, is really well drawn. And I'm not sure um, how to even how to even explain what about him is well drawn, but he just feels like a very real, relatable, real person um, in this situation. And even though he's a guy who does terrible things at times, uh, you can't help but root for him and can't help but hope that he's able to uh, to make things right and to get out of these, this situation that he's gotten himself in. So if you like kind of hard-boiled, noir-ish um, crime novels or even like thrillers of the Jack Reacher variety. I think this kind of crosses, straddles the borderline between those two. Uh, I would really highly recommend The Second Life of Nick Mason. So if you check it out, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Bye.